Splice on Connectors, Operational Video. The Splice on Connectors components are the dust cap, connector subassembly, connector housing, and the boot locking eyelet. Fusion Splicer Setup. First, you will need to remove the standard fiber holder using a screwdriver. Next, insert the splice on connector holder. Please note the Inno Instrument splice on connectors and the holder are compatible with other major brands in the market. To remove the standard heater cover, push it down and slide it out. You will receive a splice on connector heater cover with your fusion splicer kit. Insert this by pushing it into place. You will need to change the heater settings by going to the main menu, heater mode, and selecting SOC. Assemble and prep the splice on connector. Place the boot and locking eyelet onto the cable. Then the splice protection sleeve. Strip the outer coating of your cable and remove any strength members. Following this, remove at least 50 mm of secondary coating and approximately 30 to 40 mm of primary coating. Now clean the bare fiber with a lint-free wipe and cleaning alcohol. Cleave the fiber by placing the fiber into the appropriate groove for your cable type. Splice and heat the splice on connector. Place the fiber into the standard fiber holder. And place the splice on connector into the splice on connector holder. Make sure the fiber ends are between the V-groove edges and the electrode tip. Close the lid and press set to start splicing. After splicing is complete, carefully place the splice protection sleeve over the splice. Lift the fiber towards the heater and place gently inside and close the lid. Press the heat button to start the heating process. Upon completion, the heating LED indication will turn off. When assembling, the black dot on the connector subassembly will indicate the correct locking position of both the locking eyelet and the connector housing. Secure the locking eyelet onto the connector subassembly. Lock this in place by placing the boot onto the end. Fasten the connector housing onto the connector subassembly. Remove the dust cap and test the splice on connector. 